In this video, I want to have a look at improper fractions and mixed numerals. So before we have a look at any examples, I want to have a look at a few definitions. So our first one is what's called a proper fraction. So a proper fraction is one where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So the number on top of our fraction is smaller than the one in the bottom. Then we can have what are called improper fractions. And that's where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So the number on top is larger than the number on the bottom. So we've got proper and improper fractions. And then we can also have what are called mixed numerals. So a mixed numeral is made up of a whole number and a proper fraction. So we want to be able to translate mainly in this video between improper fractions and mixed numerals. So let's have a look at some examples. Our first example asks us to convert 15 over 4 into a mixed numeral. So we want to convert it into a whole number and a proper fraction. So what we want to do, we want to see how many times 4 can fit into that 15. So if we think about our 4 times tables, it's going to go in there 3 whole times because 4 times 3 is 12. And we're still going to have 3 left over. So as a mixed numeral, this fraction is going to be 3 and 3 quarters. So that means that we had 3 wholes and 3 quarters still left over. And in total, that means 15 quarters. Now you can see that as well because 1 whole, we know that 1 whole is the same as 4 quarters. So each of these whole numbers have 4 quarters in them. So that's 4, 8, 12 quarters here. And then we've got another 3 quarters here. So together, that makes our 15 quarters. All right, let's have a look at another example. So our second example is going the other way. We're going to start with this mixed numeral of 5 and 3 quarters, and we're going to convert that into an improper fraction. So we want to see how many quarters fit into 5 wholes. So because there's 4 quarters in 1 whole, we can do 5 times 4 to get 20 quarters. And we've also got these 3 quarters here. So we're going to have, in total, 23 quarters, or 23 over 4. So just to recap that, for this one, we did 15 divided by 4 to get this whole number, and that gave us 3, remainder 3. So that first 3 is what became our whole number, and the remainder is what became the top of the fraction. And that denominator in our fraction stayed the same. If we're going from a uh, mixed numeral to an improper fraction, we're going to times that together, so we're going to do 5 times the 4, so the whole number times the denominator, and then we're going to add on the numerator that we already had, so we ended up with 23 over 4. So that's having a look at improper fractions and mixed numerals.